The moon isn't perfectly round. In fact, it's shaped more like a lemon. The birth of the moon was about 4.5 billion years ago, when the early solar system was complete chaos. Planets crashing, asteroids flying, and then the big one. A planet the size of Mars, we call it Theia, slammed into the young Earth. The collision was so massive, it vaporized chunks of both worlds, launching a ring of molten debris into orbit. And from that fiery mess, the moon was born. At first, it wasn't the calm gray sphere that we know today. It was molten, glowing, and orbiting Earth way closer than it does now. Back then, the Earth and the moon were locked in this insane gravitational dance. Earth's gravity was literally stretching the moon's surface while it was still soft and molten. The result? The moon got squished and stretched, forming two bulges, one facing the Earth and one on the opposite side. This is what gave the moon its slightly elongated lemon-like shape. Not perfectly round, not completely smooth, but forever marked by the Earth's pull. And when the moon's surface finally cooled and hardened, those bulges, that stretched out shape, was frozen in place. Basically, the moon solidified mid-stretch. Even now, billions of years later, we can still see that ancient distortion. Scientists even have a name for this permanent stretch. They call it a fossil bulge. It's like a snapshot of the moon's past, frozen in rock and time. So yeah, the moon we see now isn't just a rock, it's a fossil, a physical record of an ancient gravitational war.